What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to deal with this filter housing on a Toyota. I'm going to show you how to do the whole oil change process, including what to do with this canister and how to change the filter and the O-rings. For the oil change process, you're going to need the oil filter element here, the oil filter wrench. This is one made by Motivex Tools. It's a great filter wrench and it's made in the USA. A 3 8 inch ratchet, 3 8 extension, 14 millimeter socket, and of course a funnel to refill the oil and this one is a Toyota specific that actually screws on. I'll leave a link for these in the description below. Also you're going to need an oil pan, some ramps, and the oil itself. So you've either jacked up the car or put it up on jack stands. You're going to locate the filter canister here. You can see there it is. There's the end cap and then the canister. And it's usually directly next to the oil pan which is located right here. And then the oil drain plug is right there and it's 14 millimeter to remove that. First you're going to remove the drain plug with the 14 millimeter socket. This is going to drain the majority of the oil from the engine. And if you'd like, you can open up the oil fill. This may make it drain faster. Once the oil is done draining, reinstall the drain plug and tighten it down to spec. Next locate the oil filter canister right here and we're going to take off that little end cap first. You need a 3 8 inch ratchet or ex ratchet plus extension for clearance to take that cap off. And you can see as I loosen this it kind of loosens the whole housing itself. So I give it a couple taps and then usually that will release just the cap itself on the end. I remove this cap totally. Make sure you have your oil drain pan in place. It's inside the filter element box, you're going to locate the plastic nipple. And then insert it into the bottom of the filter housing as shown. This will drain out all the oil inside the filter housing, making it a little bit of a cleaner job. Next, remove the plastic nipple by firmly pressing it back and forth, and it should release from the housing. Next, take the oil filter housing wrench, attach it to your ratchet, and remove the whole housing. Next, remove the old paper element from the filter housing and clean up the housing itself a little bit. Toyota makes a couple different versions of this housing. There's a plastic one seen here and also this metal one. I'll leave a link for the metal one in the description below. Also, I have a video on how to swap these out, so I'll leave that linked above and below. Um, but the metal one seems to be much more stout. Next, take the new O-rings and swap out the old with the new. You can take a little bit of used oil, put on the new O-ring, then remove the old O-ring. There's a little groove right here. Pop it off. Grab your new one and make sure it sits down in this little groove. Make sure it is not on the threads of the housing. You can see it's down in that groove that goes all the way around. Next, clean up the end cap and install the small O-ring there as well. And then reinstall the end cap. Then take your ratchet and tighten it down until it bottoms out. Next, 
Next, reinstall the paper filter element into the housing. That's what it should look like. Make sure that o ring's in the groove and the gun cap's on. Then reinstall it back into the vehicle. Hand tighten it first. Then take your filter wrench and ratchet and tighten down the whole housing. And in most cases you end up bottoming out the housing before you hit the torque spec or as you hit the torque spec. So just bottom it out. Then you can go ahead and start filling the engine with engine oil. In this case I have this nice funnel made by Motive X Tools as well. And it threads right down onto the oil fill. I'll leave a link in the description below for this funnel as well. Then fill up your engine with engine oil up to the specifications that are in your owner's manual. Next, remove the funnel and reinstall the engine oil fill cap. Then the last thing you need to do is check your engine oil level. So I usually take out the dipstick itself, clean it off, then dip it back in. And you want that oil level to be up to the second dot that indicates that it's full and you're all set. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Also check out all my other Toyota maintenance videos if you're interested. And just a reminder, I'll leave a link for all the tools and products used in the description below. Thanks for watching.